Hey, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome aboard the Greenfield Village Railroad. Please stay seated while the train's in motion. Keep those arms and legs, and especially your heads, inside the rail car at all times. Please refrain from smoking, eating, or drinking anything but water aboard the Greenfield Village Railroad. And as we continue on now through Railroad Junction, we're now about to pass the historic Smith's Creek okay. Depot. Originally built in 1858 in Smith's Creek, Michigan, about eight and a half miles southwest of Port Huron. Where as a boy, Thomas Edison worked for the Grand so Trunk Railroad, selling there. treats and newspapers along the way from Port Huron to Detroit and back again. Off to your left in that fenced-in area, that's the new home to the Vegetable Building from the Detroit Central Market, built right here in Detroit in 1861. And it's coming soon to Greenfield Village. And that brings us to the heart of our Railroad Junction District, just up ahead, the Detroit, Toledo, and Milwaukee Roundhouse, where we repair and maintain our three coal-fired steam locomotives. Originally built in 1884 in Marshall, Michigan, we've recreated the building here at Greenfield Village in the year 2000, using elements from the original building. On the other side of the Roundhouse is our Liberty Craft Works District, where artisans and craftsmen create beautiful objects in glass and pottery, tin and weaving. There's a print shop and a sawmill as well. And don't miss the Davidson Gerson Glass Gallery with a spectacular collection of industrial glass. While you're over here, stop by the Liberty Craft Works store, maybe take home a few of these beautiful items for yourself. And we're now entering our working farms district, and just beyond the Red Cider Mill is the Firestone Farm, the birthplace of Harvey Firestone. Henry Ford's great friend and the founder of the Firestone Tire and Rubber Company of Akron, Ohio. Firestone Farm is a living history farm, the farmhouse built back in 1828 in Columbiana County, Ohio. If you get a chance, stop by the farm today, check out the farm animals and any new arrivals. Firestone Farm is a living history farm. Our farm hands are on the fields today using tools, implements, and techniques they used way back in the mid-1800s. And just beyond the cornfield is our next stop of the day. That's Firestone Station at the front gate. From here you have full access to working farms, Main Street, Liberty Craft Works, and Henry's Model T. Leaving us here, please stay seated until the train comes to a complete stop. The engineer will give a blast and the whistle. That means the air brake is set. Then I'll give you the go ahead to exit on the right side only. So please stay seated, everybody, till you hear the whistle blow. Can I just hide under the house? <laughs> Wait for the whistle. There's the whistle. It's safe now to exit on the right side.